So I'm one of those 100 million people that also installed iOS Threads app on their phone. I've uh, been playing around with it. I've enjoyed the app. I'm trying to see if I like it as much as Twitter or is it an alternative to Twitter. And I actually went over to my iPad, where I also use Twitter, and went to install it, only to find out there is no iPad OS version of Threads, much like Instagram, so it really shouldn't have been much of a surprise. Um, however, I still want to use it on my iPad. I like my iPad when I sit on the couch at night, and I tried iPad OS 16's version of Center Stage. It didn't really make the experience that much better, so I decided to install the public OS version of iPad OS 17 on my iPad and see if center stage there uh, made the user experience a little bit better for an iOS app running on iPad OS 17 under center stage. All right, so let's kick this off. I recorded a session um, opening up threads on my iPad under iPad OS 16. I'm going to show you what it looks like when it first opens up, and then we're going to try center stage and just kind of see how the feel is. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we are looking at iPadOS 16. Now here, just opening the app, you can kind of see it puts borders around it, makes it look like an iPhone in the middle of a huge iPad. Uh, I'm going to click on center stage here. Now we're in center stage. You can see the uh, other apps that are open on the side. I'm going to try to resize it a little bit. Now I can try to move it around. You can see it kind of just snaps to a grid. It's really hard to use. It doesn't really make the experience that much better. Now can, so all in all, eh, center stage really isn't doing that much for me. It makes it gets rid of the borders, but you know it still looks like an iOS app in the middle of an iPhone. So now what I'd like to do, I installed the public beta of iPadOS 17 on that same iPad. Um, again, this is not me saying put a public beta on any of your devices. However, if you're brave and want to give it a shot, fantastic, but know that it's a beta and there could be problems with it. But I did install that on my iPad, and now under iPadOS 17, let's do the same thing. Let's open up threads and see how center stage kind of reacts now. So here we are with the same iPad. I opened up, you can see it kind of looks the same when you just open the app, nothing too exciting there. But when we go ahead and open center stage on iPadOS 17, it's changed the user experience just a little bit. One, resizing is a little bit easier. You can kind of see I'm moving the window. Now I'm moving the window around, but I can put it wherever I want. It's not snapping it to a specific area, which is going to allow for multitasking a little bit better. So we'll open up another window. Here's Safari. I'm going to go ahead and put threads right next to it. You can kind of see I can resize the windows a little bit. I can also move them around so they start to fit in different areas wherever I want it on the iPad. But all in all, the experience is a little bit better. I mean, is it a perfect OS? No. Is it still an iOS app running in the middle of an iPad? Absolutely. Nothing but the experience to me, eh, maybe it's a little bit better. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments what you think. So long story short, does iPad OS 17 center stage make uh, iOS apps a little bit more palatable to use? Yeah, sure. Is it perfect? No. Would it be great if Meta would go ahead and create an iPad version of Threads? Uh, just like as everybody's always wanted one for Instagram. Uh, that would be fantastic. But this does give you a means to use it and it doesn't feel completely awkward or just a small iOS app put in the, right in the middle of a large screen. Um, a little bit better. I don't know. I'm still playing around with iPadOS 17. We'll probably do a few more videos coming up to you know see what the experience is there and whether the upgrade looks like it's going to be worth it. But all in all, it did make threads a little bit better of an experience, and uh, I'll probably continue to play around with it. Hope you liked this video. If you enjoyed it, please comment and let me know your thoughts, and whether or not you've given this a shot as well. And uh, as always, subscribe if you want to see more content from Tech Dudes Weekly. Thanks again. <laughs>